Now your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, supported by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Looking at a lot of sunshine out this midday and temperatures already soaring out there. Throw a little humidity in there and we already have what it feels like temperature and humidity up around 100 to 107 degrees. We're going to see those numbers up around 105 to 110, maybe 111 or so this afternoon. Actual air temperatures for highs upper 90s into the lower 100s. Roma, Rio Grande City, 104 this afternoon with those south winds 10 to 15 miles an hour gusting up around 20 at times looking at 89 degrees out on the island. Make sure you check that back seat. Stay hydrated. Make sure your pets have plenty of shade and water. And of course, sunscreen is going to be a big one and make sure you keep those AC units in top condition out on the island today. Looking at those temperatures again, the upper 80s that no chance of rain today. Surf running 86 degrees. That's feeling really nice out there. Surf around two to four feet and extreme on the UV index for today. That's at 11. Here is a look at the tropics and other than what we did have of a tropical storm, it's pretty quiet out across the Atlantic basin, the far eastern Atlantic, the central Atlantic, although the Hurricane Center is watching this area right here over the next five days, giving it just a 10% chance. And it looks like whatever it does become would move it away from the US mainland. And then here is now tropical depression Crystal ball now moving across northeastern Louisiana on its way through Arkansas for this afternoon and this evening and still bringing a lot of rain with it. And even though it's moved further towards the north, there's still some very strong rain bands over just south of Lake Charles over towards New Orleans and then wrapping up around. So this is still going to be causing some flooding potential across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and then moving northward in Arkansas and Missouri and the Mississippi Valley over the coming days. For us, we've got the heat out there. We've got the what the uh, the help of that tropical depression still keeping us in that sinking air. So we've got the heat and we've got the humidity out there, but that's all going to start to change over the next uh, 36 hours or so. And here's part of the reason why we've got the tropical depression moving away from us and this cold front, another late season cold front will be moving southward tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Once it makes it towards the Rio Grande Valley, we're going to have a couple things happen. Of course, we've got a lot of moisture at the surface, but we also have the sea breeze is going to be activating at about the same time that this front starts getting a little bit closer to us during the day on Wednesday. And that brings us with about a 20 to 30 percent chance, not big chances, but a 20 to 30 percent chance of some showers and thunder showers around Wednesday and Thursday. So the front Depends on how far south it goes. That could help us out with temperatures as well, but I think more so it'll be the clouds, the rain around, and the fact that we're going to have all that sinking air disappear across the area. And that's going to bring those temperatures down. We're going to see those numbers back down into the low to mid 90s and just a list of marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow as that front moves in our general direction. And so we're looking at those temperatures near 100 today, tomorrow, and then back down in the low to mid 90s for Wednesday and Thursday. There is your seven day forecast then. And again, just those two small rain chances, but that will help us out towards the end of the week.